afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm out for a walk just north of Taipei City. I have a few hours to kill. What's the topic today? Well, it's an extension sort of of my last little speech talking about how people have sort of a hive mind sort of thing when they get into their social groups. Sometimes those are political, sometimes they overlap, that sort of thing. What I've noticed lately in conversations with people, you know, the media keeps throwing you different things to argue about, obviously, or discuss, or think about, is if somebody takes, or some people tend to take a different point of view on a person or an event, that's fine, you know, something, you can debate it. What I find odd is people are very reluctant to take new information in in a critical way. Let me explain. What happens, I've noticed, is if you'll bring up some, some fact or some thing they didn't quite think about that goes negatively against their, say, a political party, they tend to reason it like one of two things. One, it's the other side's fault, which is weird. I guess that's called deflection or something like that. Or there's somehow a good reason for it or they won't look at it as just a bad idea. They're very defensive of their point. For instance, they say, oh, this person, you know, I won't get into too many details because YouTube's on the big bandwagon now with anything if it relates to society or some events, weather, politics, you'll just get taken off. So I'll just keep things hypothetical, but you can plug them into what I may be talking about or relate it because it is an extension of things that have actually that actually are topics. You'll say, did you know this? This some, something may have happened in history could have affected, you know, like a country has an agreement with another country not to do something. Then somehow, because government media sort of keeps out there what you want to hear or the things that they think is important to you, they'll leave that out by omission. The culmination, I kind of, the end point in this sort of thing is it's a very simple thing. It's, it's hard to change people's minds when they're stuck in a certain way of thinking. They'll defend it. I'm going to huff and puff a little bit, so let me join you back at the top of this hill. Guess what I'm getting at is people, generally speaking, even myself, I'm aware of it a little bit. I think most people are. They don't want to admit they're wrong or that they don't have all the information. That's maybe a better way of, of putting it. Nice view up here, got a bit more to go. But it's also related to the very fact that, uh, I'll take you on the road when I'm talking. <clears throat> a lot of people who say vote a certain way. Now, this isn't necessarily political. When I say vote a certain way, hey, it's like, <laughs> when I say vote a certain way, it's kind of like, uh, think a certain way or agree in a certain set of uh, ideals or what they believe to be all the information to make their decision. It doesn't have to be politics. It can just be a, an opinion, which is usually or hopefully derived from some information, is that when they claim something, they don't let it go. In terms of politics, they vote like their parents. Their parents vote how they've always voted. They just sort of hope for the best. They don't actually look at the other side. And that's what's happening, politically at least. People just vote for who they always have, blindly. That's the old, they're still alive, so must be okay. But uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, the ideals of political parties in the world are slowly changing. Sometimes what used to be right is now left. Left is now right. You know, facts don't matter. It's just, I've always voted this way. It, it should change sometimes. There they are. Everybody following everybody. Hopefully the uh, lead ant is taking them to uh, 
the right place. Usually does, so keep doing it until one day uh, they all jump off like, was it lemmings? They all run off the cliff. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. People should, they gotta be taught it's generational, you know, it's like anything, poverty, whatever. They should be taught the basics of critical thinking. And a lot of people have forgotten it. They just get uh, locked up in what everybody else is doing. You know, if you survive once, they'll keep doing it. Trained. Yeah, it's negative, but it's also frustrating. And emotions. Now, when it comes to political decisions, you should follow policy because that's what's directly going to affect you. But what I find is a lot of people now, they like the person or they don't like the person. Is that a good way to vote? Are they going to come to your house? Sit down at the table? Probably not. What directly affects you is policy. If their policy raises your taxes and takes away your freedoms, AKA takes away your money and your ability to change anything in the future. Those are some of the two most important things that keep you an individual. What I tend to think is important when making a decision on who's going to lead, not I don't like the personality or something like that. I mean, you can hope it's better, but it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be. And heck, those same people that uh, don't like certain personalities in politics always don't realize they're dealing with other people on the world that aren't nice people. They often say, oh, there's this leader over in some other part of the world. He's just trying to take it all over and invade other countries, right? How do you think you have to deal with them? You want them really, they got to have a certain tact and a certain uh, almost abrasiveness to deal with those people properly. Not necessarily the person that would probably or most likely be that you'd have over to your house. Think big picture. Don't look around the room like I said in my other video to see what everybody else is doing. Look back, look on past policies, why they get put into those positions. I mean, if you like in a big angry dog, well, you don't want big angry dogs, right? But there is a big angry dog and you poke it and it sort of sits there. But when you come into the yard or what it considers its territory, it will bite back. So don't do that. Simple as that. And if you want to get it to comply and it is unhinged, yeah, just don't go fighting it. Take a, take a different way. Throw some meat over the fence, whatever that means metaphorically. Make a deal. Put it into a situation where it has to agree with its gut instinct or any semblance of logic that may be there. Is that vague enough of a conversation to talk about the world and the way people think and do things? Hope so. I don't think that's enough to get a YouTube flag, so hopefully it won't be below you. That's the little trick I've noticed to getting around the YouTube algorithms. You just don't mention certain keywords and names. But if you've come this far, I think you figured out what I'm talking about. So there you go. I'm going to finish this little hike. A few words for you. Taiwan videos, they don't get a lot of views. I don't know what the heck that is. My theory is they're just not as exciting as Thailand, not much of a destination, but uh, you'll still get them. I'm not here for the views. I'm here for archiving today. Those are my thoughts. So. You take it easy. I'm going to look out for the, uh, what do they call murder hornets? Yeah, they're a thing here in Taiwan. Uh, they have attacked every year. There's people that are attacked and uh, yeah, just walk slowly away. I've been bitten by wasps. I don't know if the, I haven't been bitten by these murder ones. They're like this big, man. I don't want to, but keep my eyes peeled. So should you. Look at policies, people. Look at history. Do a bit of reading. Don't just take the sound bites. The sound bites are there for a reason. They're there to convince you and fill your head full of what they want you to think. And uh, take it. It's good information, right? But huh. look for your other information. Don't be obvious in your searches. Look for government data. 
you know, go to statistic sites and things like that. Don't just go YouTube video this and that. Look for statistics and put the pieces together yourself. It's all out there. Governments have to release certain information and you can fill in the blanks. Anyway, I'm going back into the city. Grab myself a beverage. You take it easy. Again, this is the end. Or is it? Bye-bye. Maybe it's a shot over here. Thank <laughs> you.